Mark Twain once said, the dog is a gentleman. I hope to go to his heaven and not man's. In the 10th century, Olaf, Norwegian son of an Irish princess, described his Irish wolfhounds with fierce love and admiration. Quote, I will give thee a hound that was given to me in Ireland. He is big and no worse than a stout man. Besides, it is part of his nature that he has a man's wit, and he will bay at every man he knows to be thy foe, but never at thy friends. He can see, too, in any man's face whether he means thee well or ill, and he will lay down his life to be true to thee. And we owned such a hound many years ago. The Irish Wolfhound is one of Ireland's native dog breeds. Its grand size and presence has inspired everything from poetry to literature to mythology and is best summed up by its historical motto which is gentle when stroked, fierce when provoked. In 391 there's a reference to large dogs by a Roman consul who received seven Irish hounds as a gift to be used for fighting lions and bears in the Colosseum and who wrote quote all Rome viewed with wonder. Wolfhounds were used as hunting dogs in Ireland. They were called Cúfuel, or in English, Wolfhound. Cúcullan is a mythical warrior whose name means Hound of Cúlan, and is supposed to have gained his name as a child when he killed the ferocious guard dog of Cúlan. There is the story of Gellert, an Irish hound gifted to Llewellyn, Prince of Wales by King John of England in 1210, Returning to his castle from a hunt in which Gellert was conspicuously absent, Llewellyn found the hound covered in blood and his infant son's cradle overturned and empty. Presuming Gellert had savaged the boy, Llewellyn plunged his sword into the dog's side. As Gellert howled in his death throes, Llewellyn heard another source of wailing. His son, crawling out from under a pile of swaddling. Nearby was a dead wolf that had intended the same fate for the boy but was preempted by the now dying hound. Evidence of historic dog sizes in Ireland by Irish archaeologists stressed that no dogs of Irish wolfhound size are known from sites of the Iron Age period of 1000 BC through to the early Christian period to 1200 AD. And on the basis of the historic dog bones available, dogs of current Irish wolfhound size seem to be a relatively modern development. In 1571, Edmund Campion gives a description of the hounds used for hunting wolves in the Dublin and Wicklow Mountains. He says, quote, The Irish are not without wolves and greyhounds to hunt them, the bigger of bone and limb than a colt. Due to their popularity overseas, many were exported to European royal houses, leaving numbers in Ireland depleted. Thomas Pennant, in the 1700s, reported that he could find no more than three wolfhounds when he visited Ireland. In the 1800s, George Graham of Gloucestershire, England, was responsible for creating the modern Irish wolfhound breed. He stated that he could not find the breed in its original integrity in Ireland to work with, so based on the writings of others, Graham had formed the opinion that a dog resembling the original wolfhound could be recreated through using the biggest and best examples of the Scottish deerhound that were said to have been descended from strains of old Irish hounds Great Dane and other breeds, which he believed had been derived earlier from the wolfhound. Scholars argue whether Graham simply revived a fading breed or manufactured a new one. The Irish wolfhound is a sighthound and hunts by visual perception alone, and in play loves to course, in this case carefully with a seven kilo Jack Russell. The wolfhound is 10 times heavier at 71 kilos that's 145 pounds or 11 stone. She had a seven foot stride. A horse has a stride of 12 feet. And such a hound would have had no trouble taking down a European wolf weighing 38 kilos. They have a varied range of personalities and are most often noted for their personal quirks and individualism. Indeed, Our Lady's quirk was for eating blackberries off the bush. An Irish wolfhound, however, is rarely mindless and despite its large size, is rarely found to be destructive in the house. This is because the breed is generally introverted, intelligent and reserved in character. 
and easy going animal, the Irish Wolfhound is quiet by nature. Wolfhounds often create a strong bond with the family and can become quite morose if left alone for long periods of time. They are great with children, but be prepared for full access to the kitchen table. The only drawback is like most dogs, saying goodbye comes too soon, but the Wolfhound lives a shorter life than most dogs. Our girl was just six and a half years old when her heart stopped. Her little friend lives on, a little greyer. Apologies dear friend, we're all a little greyer. But proves another of Mark Twain's sayings. It is not the size of the dog in the fight, it is the size of the fight in the dog. Thank you for watching, but please like and subscribe as this will encourage future productions.